How to identify the Japanese Kawasaki OH-1 Ninja Light Helicopter. The OH-1 entered service with the Japanese ground forces in 2000 and so far less than 40 have been built originally originally more than 180 were wanted but due to budget cuts that was that number was severely reduced specifications length 12 meters or 39 feet height 12 and a half feet or 3.8 meters maximum takeoff weight 4,000 kgs or just over 8,800 pounds main rotor diameter is 11.6 meters or 38 feet Maximum speed 278 kilometers an hour or 173 miles per hour. Range approximately 340 miles or 550 k's. Service ceiling 4,800 meters or 16,000 feet. Armament includes but is not limited to rockets, gun pods, anti tank missiles, or air to air missiles. Okay, so we can see this helicopter has a four bladed main rotor above and behind the cockpit, but just be aware, as I've pointed out before. Rotor blades can be changed, so right now it has a four. Chances are it'll never get less than four, but just so you know, those blades can be changed out. Um, we also can, so can see here stub wings with underwing hardpoint. Those stub wings are mid mounted and just behind the cockpit. This helicopter has twin engines mounted behind the cockpit and below the main rotor mountings. These engines also have twin rectangular intakes with exhausts at the rear. The fuselage is tadpole shaped with a rounded nose. We have a two crew tandem stepped cockpit and the gearbox cowling or fairing slopes at the rear as you can see with that yellow oval. The tail boom itself is low mounted. The tail section houses a fence drawn or ducted rotor. The tail is well sloped with a flat top. The tail flats are mid-mounted on the boom, just forward of the tail rotor. As you can see that there in that blue oval I have. The rear of the rotor housing has a triangular point, and the tail wheel protrudes from extension at the base of the rotor housing. And this final slide of this helicopter, or at least as, at least as far as the photos go, we can see this helicopter has a fixed tricycle landing gear, the front landing gear, are below and on either side of the cockpit and we have a tail wheel at the, re at the rear of the tail boom. So don't confuse this helicopter with the Mangusta, the Tiger, the Apache, the Z19 or the Z10. And with that let's get back to the remainder of this video clip from fastaviationdata.com.